Hey guys, we just got to Yapoon, Yapoon Beach Holiday Park. Beck just checked in. We're so red from the sun already today. How was it? Good. Just checking. They you, yeah, they make you just do all the COVID stuff. Oh just really? To be safe. Yeah. Um, so we're at campsite 12 on the beach. Sweet. So we'll turn around there. It looks pretty tight, but we'll be right. Yeah, it'll be fine. We are all set up at the caravan park. We're at the Beachside Holiday Caravan Park, I think it's called. Yeah, Beachside Holiday Park, uh, Yapoon. Yapoon. So we're yep. here for two nights, but we're only staying in the van for one night and we're going to head off in the slow somewhere else. We just had some dinner. We had hot chips and these salmon and cream cheese puff pastry little bite things. Now we're going to head into Bunnings and get a water for you because we We've got the little reducer, we got the tap fitting. Yeah, we don't know where we can fit. Excuse me, but we don't have the reducer. And we cooked on the air fryer, so there's no dishes. Which is great. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to come back, and we are... <laughs> don't mind this finger. And we are going to set up the tea, ready to go out tomorrow morning. Alright guys, another late one. I just put the trailer together, um, and took the boat off the... Uh, ready to go for five rocks tomorrow. Um, don't know if you can see there's not much light, but the boat's ready to go. Back's inside chilling. Just reading a book on my phone. Reading a book at early dinner. Gonna go to bed soon. Gotta edit another vlog for you guys. Um, it's so funny, I just saw a comment uh, from one of you guys on YouTube that we're in Yapoon right now. And he's in Yapoon. Mac is watching our swag review, so that's pretty cool. If you ever see that or see us out and about, uh, come say hey. See us at the campsite. Come say hey. I'd love to meet you guys. So yeah, the boat is nearly ready. Just gonna put the cover on it. I'll leave the engine off, engine off it tonight. It's a bit of safety. The rig's parked up, and we're ready to get into some editing after we have a shower. Is that fireworks? Yeah, I think it is. Will someone getting shot? No. <laughs> right, we'll check back. Maybe when I do some editing, maybe in the morning. Good morning, guys. The sun has blown and truly, like, truly risen. It's about 7 a.m. He's still having a little bit of a nap. He has to get up and edit the video for you guys. It comes out today. It's nearly done, he just has some finishing touches. But we're right on the beach, so we've got a nice little breeze. Hopefully you can hear me through the wind. And a path down to the beach is there. I'm gonna go for a run now. And then I'll be back to dig down some brookie. I just ran into the little town of Yapoon. Just, it's about two k's down from our park. So here is the Life Saving Sailing Club. Sorry, I've got a little boat so i ran from that direction down there along the path it's really good they've got like kids playgrounds they've got all like shops along here that you can eat at or buy food at there's even a water park which i think has a little lagoon that you can go swimming in the beach is huge and i'm just gonna keep heading this way and on the way back through i'll show you the uh the lagoon and the playground Just getting the battery and jerry can off. The car is loaded. I got the tinny all loaded up, the rods are in. Got a saltus rod here, my big pen, never even been used, still got plastic on it. Got two rods there, all the gear, battery's about to go in. The whole car is packed, ready to go. The back's all packed up, fridge is on. Clothes are good to go in and we're good to go. Okay guys, we are all set up for five rocks. The cruise is packed, all the food's in. Got the boat on, ready to go. She's all strapped down. Hopefully the little wheels keep up. We'll see how we go, it should be all right though. I got 60 pound, I went to 60 pound in the tires. Just cause it says maximum load 
um, 90 pounds, 430 kilo. So I just went that little bit extra because this tin is probably about 170 kilos probably with the engine on it. So go to 60, I'm gonna monitor it. Make sure you check your tires. Put your hand up against them like this. On a hot day, it should be hotter. If it's hotter than a hot cup of coffee to grab, then you need to put some more pressure in or do something about it. So anyway, we're on our way. You ready? Very. Just checking itself out. <laughs> Caught. Oh no, my eyelash is going to my eye. Oh. We are back from grabbing some food and a couple of bits and pieces, and we are just finalizing the tinny before we head about an hour and a half away, just for the night. So I'm gonna lock everything up here. Look how nice of a day it is. We're gonna hook up to that and we're gonna head off. We've just had a decent feed so we shouldn't get too hungry until we get there. We have, we are all done. Nikki's just pumping up the trailer tires. We have to let that one down when we put it behind the van just because it doesn't fit in that little gap so we just have to release some pressure. What are you gonna go up to, Nick? Oh, it's a 50. So 50, so it's on the side, max load, uh, 90, uh, 350, 30 kilos at 90 pound, but that seems like a lot, so I just went to 50. Because they're already pretty, they're only little, look how tiny they are. So we're just gonna do that on those and we're gonna stop every 20 or 30 minutes just to check, as this is the first time we've towed it further than three kilometers down the road. <laughs> so we'll see how we go. Heading up Byfield Road. We've got things in the way. Heading up Byfield Road now into the Byfield National Park. It's about 23 k's away. Yeah, so there's a sign. Spin around. Yeah. We're towing the tinny and we have one of the fold up trailers, as you guys would have seen. We've put it together um, and it's only going well at about 70 k's. It goes gonna, better, but yeah, I was going to try and show you, but it's a bit windy out there. So it's going, well, we're going good at 70 k's an hour, so we're not really yeah. going to push it too hard over that, are we? No. It is 80 on this road, but yeah. it's better to be safe than sorry. Yeah. Just stopped to check the load. That strap was loose and the trailer plug came out, so luckily we stopped and checked. But it's pretty solid. It's pretty good, really. Uh, see? That's why you check. That bolt's about to come out. And that bolt's all good. So we're gonna do that bolt up just real quick. And we'll be on our way. Right, so we just pulled up at the start of the dirt here. Gonna drop the tires down to like 30 pound to start off with. And I'll probably just leave the trailer tires at 60 pound. I know it'll rattle around a lot, but I'd rather them rattle than blow up because um, of the heat or whatever. So leave them like that. Cover's all good. Gonna use the max tracks in the flight for the first time. Just open that up. It's in here under all my gear. So just get it out. Yeah so put the in deflate. Gonna try that never used it before so we'll see how we go. Right so I've plugged in I don't know if you hear me over the car but I plugged it in both sides in the flight there and there and you just have this main gauge the rubbish pick up your rubbish i'll pick that up after so have this main gauge that says we're at 42 pound which is about you can read that i think you just drop this in here and we're only going 10 psi and then you can uh check again like you just push that thing up right over at 41. Drop that like that and keep checking as we go. Anyway, you can do two tires at once. So when we have the van on, it's super helpful because um, you can do two at once. And instead of doing six, you just do three lots. Right over at thirty-four. 
I think. Anyway, I'll keep doing this and do the same in the back and then I'll check back in. So we just used the end of flight for like five minutes with filming to edit. Yeah. That was quicker. Yeah, way quicker. Yeah. Used to take like easily 10 minutes. Yeah, anyway, we're half the time. So we're heading up that way. Not really sure what's there yet. I think it's the dirt track and it goes to sand. But we'll keep the update as we go. Nick is just checking the tinny trailer because we picked up the pace a little bit. It was a little bit smoother when we went a bit faster. So we just went like five or 10 Ks, I think. And he's just gonna check all of, if I can get the camera out, sorry guys. Check the tinny that you can't really see behind the back of the car. The last one was all good when it gets back. Okay guys, we are 10 Ks into the Byfield Road track. It's just been real corrugated gravel at the moment. Car's a bit dusty. Have a go at the back of it. So dusty. So yeah, we're at 30 pound in the car. Um, then yeah, the tinny, we're still at 60. And I'm just really monitoring, putting my hand on the side ball, making sure it's not getting too hot. And it's been, it's been pretty good so far. That bolt there, that one I didn't replace, which I'll replace at camp, um, just rattled loose because I didn't nip it up, but I nipped it up and it seems to be good so far. But all the trailer heights and the skids and stuff haven't moved. Um, that trailer bug came out uh, at the road, but it's all good now. So yeah, we're just gonna keep sending. It's another 10 Ks that way. We just had to go through some hills and really big ruts down and around this corner. And there are some big rocks that are like in the middle of the track. You can't really see because of the shadows. But we're just going to put the engine up a bit higher. You reckon that'll clear? <laughs> that'll definitely clear. But this is also a creek crossing down through there. And that's supposed to be a creek down through there. But there is no water at all. It says beware for crocodiles everywhere, but I'm not sure where they'll Perfect. go if there's no water. We are just about to go downhill. It's a very steep downhill, but the trailer doesn't like when we go on an angle. So this is a bit The skid dropped, yeah, the skid dropped down like on one side. So it looks alright, it's just like this much, or probably like that much, down to the side. So we just want to fix it so that it's not so close to the dial. So I'm going to try and hold this up whilst Nick gets underneath. Don't squash me. We reverse rolls because I was not strong enough to hold up the tinny. So Nick held it up and I uh, lifted it and tightened it. And now Nick is just going to check 
the rest of them. And then we're gonna head off. I think there's only like seven k's to go, but at this rate, it's gonna take us an hour to get there. <laughs> but that's all right. Nearly there. And then we're gonna do it all over again tomorrow morning. Yeah, we are at the sandy section on the track now. So Nick is just letting the tires down from 30 psi. I think they're at down to 15. So it says that we have 8.6 kilometers to go on one map and then on the other map it says 7.9. So it's saying 18 minutes, but I think it'll be a little bit longer than that just because we've got the tanning trailer on. Hey guys, we are back at home now. The trip is over. I just want to put a little clip in here just quickly before we sort of show you what happened. Yes, we could have kept going. Yes, we could have gone up this hill. Uh, we got most of the way up, we got three quarters of the way up, but the trailer was just like a big anchor and we could have kept going, we could have taken the tinny off the trailer, dragged it up with the snatch trap, came back down and got it winched, done all that stuff. But it was the third day of our trip, we were away for three weeks, didn't want to break anything. We're down to five pound, I think, in the end on the car, 10 pound on the trailer. Um, and it just wasn't safe, didn't want to get stuck up the hill by ourselves. Um, so we did what we did, but it's, Pretty funny footage and you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. So here we go. So we are very bogged with that tire. These ones aren't too bad, but the tinny is definitely under. It does not help that the sand is about 50 degrees minimum and burning. So these ones just don't want to go anywhere. It's very soft. You can see I'm even falling. Not too bad. He's just going to let some more pressure out of all of them. Hopefully we can get out. So we've backed it up enough that we're gonna try and fit through there. Oh, it's so close to the tinny. Looks all right so far. And then he's gonna try and send it up through past me, I think. And we're stuck again. <laughs> Four max tracks out. Hope to God that it pulls through. I don't know if we're gonna have to keep doing it because it goes uphill, so we'll just see what happens. Now we're gonna have to dig the max tracks out because you cannot see them. And he made it about 30 meters. It is about 40 degrees outside and we have to keep putting the max tracks in. And we both have about third degree burns on our feet. Next slight left. We're trying to back down to get the max tracks. <laughs> And we're getting. Why is the car beeping? Yeah, oh, the seatbelts. Sorry for that beeping, guys. I'll switch it off now. We are currently so stuck that we have to do max tracks to reverse. <laughs> so. If you're wondering, the entry to Five Rocks Beach has pretty soft sand. Just what I've heard from the <laughs> So, not what we expected. We'd probably make it, but. It's not worth it for us. We have to be back it's tomorrow not right. and. It's supposed to be a holiday, not. Yeah, it's yeah. hot. It's th 35, 40 degrees. We yeah, don't want to. Yeah, Nick's like covered in dirt. We've both got runners yeah, that are now. <laughs> so, yeah. Time to call it a day. We've been using the Mac tracks for about an hour to get up the hill. It goes all the way down, and we've still got like 5Ks to go, and there's about another 500 meters uphill that way. Then we don't know what's behind it. Yeah. So we're going to try and turn it around through here and see how we go. So he's going to go straight and then he's going to try and turn and hopefully we can turn it nice and safely. Oh 
or not. So old mate that's going down told us to come up this track because it's a lot easier. It's meant to be one way but no one does apparently so we'll see what Nick decides after he does this. Three meters. We got around, now we're gonna hopefully get on this track and head back down. And it is 3.30. Two hours? So hopefully we make it back in two hours and we can three go. Hours? Three hours. Three hours? Three hours, yeah. Three hours with you went 150 metres. No, three hours since we left home, sorry. Oh. Three hours since we left your Hour and a half we went 150 yeah. metres. Well, it's a bit more than that. It was all the way down this hill that we're going, but that's what it felt like. So we're going to head home. Hopefully we can make it for a... That's where we went wrong. wrong. Sorry. We turned up there instead of staying on yeah. the other path. Should have stayed on this track. But anyhow, anyway, we're on our way home now. We are hopefully going to do a sunset cruise on the yeah, we'll go for fish and, and then we might, might even head to the lagoon pool at Yapoon because it doesn't close until 9 pm. So that'll be yeah, nice to refresh. Away. Yeah, this car. I don't know if you can see that there, but it is so dirty. <laughs> Hey guys, we just came downtown for dinner. We're yeah. going to what? Uh, the bungalow. One of the bungalow, yeah. yeah. We decided it was, we were too exhausted to cook. Yeah. So we're just gonna have a quick meal and go, sorry for the wind and the birds. Good morning, everyone. It is eight past five. I was gonna get up to watch the sunrise, but it's kind of hidden behind the cloud. You can only just see it trying to poke through. We need to give everything a really good wash when we head into Rockhampton this morning. It seems as though there might be a few car washes there, so we're just going to hope that there is. Otherwise, when we get to our next destination, we will wash it. Everything is filthy. It looks like we've just been up the dirt road for days and days and days, which we weren't. <laughs> we just got stuck at the beach. Hey guys, I'm just here at TJM Rockhampton getting the 200 series GVM checked um, and just had to drop the other van. So many on series, hear it from anywhere. Just had to drop the van down the road here, down there, uh, while we get the GVM checked. That's a cool little store. Shout out to these guys for helping us out. The car is a mess, so lucky they're helping us out. It's all good. Anyway, there's a train going down the main street. It's pretty cool. Beck is at Aldi. Uh, we're gearing up to go to Cape Hills for next. That'll be pretty cool. Straight through the middle of the town. It's pretty cool. Hey guys, so we're stopped on the side of the road. Beck just went shopping. Got so much food. Um, the fridge in the back has been real intermittent. So we got 150 watts of solar on the roof. Um, and then obviously the uh, batteries charge as well when we're running. But this charger that we have, I won't say the brand, but it's not Red Arc. Another charger we have doesn't pick up the battery after it's dropped down low so say i run the fridge which we do all the time and we're not running and overnight say it drops below 12.7 volts the the charger thinks that there's no battery so even though it's dropping in charge when the tin is on the roof for example and the car stopped so the tin is on the roof solar panels under there the the car thinks there's no battery after that time so it's trying to charge trying to charge trying to charge so in the by the morning obviously it's below 12.7 volts and then the fridge shuts off and the fridge thinks there's no power so you have to take both negs off the battery both batteries wait a minute and then put it back on so if you have that problem where it's not charging try resetting it like that um yeah that's what we do 
what I'm going to do tonight, and I should have been doing, it's my fault, I should have run the solar mark input on the windscreen at night when the tinny's on the roof. Um, so yeah, that'll keep it up to charge or at least help it uh, with the fridge. Because we've got a 75 litre Waco that draws a bit of power. Um, anyway, we're all uh, rigged up. Just got to do that ratchet strap back up. You got to undo it when you undo the bonnet. And we're ready to go to Cape Hillsborough. Back since I just having a drink of water and whatever. So we're ready to go, aren't we, back? Already, she's making tuna and crackers and cheese. And cheese, beauty of a van, you can just jump in, do whatever you want. Anyway, we'll do the rest of the strap up and we'll check back when we're on the highway. Thanks for watching, guys. That's another video done. Don't forget to tune in next week where we hit up Cape Hillsborough. If you like this one, leave a like, and if you want to see more, subscribe.